Well, guys, we got another episode of DC Legends of Tomorrow. Episode 3 didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to happen because of, you know, last week's preview where it talks about going back in time to right before Vandal Savage even became immortal, which uh, I still say is their best bet. Go back again. Who knows? Maybe even further than before. And kill him. It's a basic plot point. It just is. It's Terminator logic. Go back far enough to where they can't fight back and kill him. It's. Did no one ever watch the Terminator in the future, or in the DC world? Does Terminator not exist there? It's basic stuff. Okay. So with this episode, we got Shaira. She is just completely incapable of movement at this point because there are shards of the knife stuck inside of her blood system, which Ray has to go in and destroy. During this time, he kind of bonds with Professor Stein in a way that, uh, well, there are dogs barking. It's driving me crazy. Um, it, it's just done really well i guess it's just martin stein has said that he never remembered ray as a student but here's the thing he made a good point he had a lot of excellent students he can't remember all of them dog shut the fuck up and i guess the way that he works as a moral support this for ray during the whole uh you know shrinking down to blood cell size and destroying all the shards I think it worked pretty well then we got Leonard Snark he goes uh, and takes a ship and goes after a gem which why do I think it's kryptonite so I wouldn't have any problem believing it I really wouldn't speaking of kryptonite there is a little uh, Easter egg in this episode where Rip Hunter says he's seen men, men of Steel, Superman, fall, as well as Dark Knights, Batman. It's like, we're not stupid. We, we see the little, uh, we, we see and hear all these little tr uh, just Easter eggs and all that stuff, but the show is working to its advantage. And we get a little bit more with Sarah as she is now starting to succumb to her psychotic need for killing her bloodlust is back and it's stronger than ever there is a point in the episode where it looks like she's stabbing someone to death repeatedly so many times when in fact she's just stabbing around his head like right there repeatedly and then she just straight up pop knocks him out which is really awesome is showing character development for her and we do learn that yes Rip Hunter did go back in time once before to kill Vandal Savage, but ultimately failed because he hesitated. When Snark goes back to steal that gem, he gives it to his father in order to keep his father out of jail, but since his father is an idiot, he tried to sell it and ended up selling it to a cop who then got him put in jail, so he went to jail anyway. All in all, this episode was very straightforward, and uh, I think it did really well. Altogether, for this episode, even though I don't have much to say about it, I mean, like I said, the episode was straightforward. There is that one little nitpick that time travel just, you know, throws right at you. If you're trying to erase someone from existence, you have a time machine. You can go at any point in time in order to just get rid of this person. It's right all there. Just Anyway, altogether for this episode, I want to give this one 7.1 out of 10. It's mainly because the first two episodes, they were spectacular in a sense that they were more along the lines of a bigger setup. And this one was technically a setup as well, but it just didn't seem as epic or dramatic as the last two episodes were so altogether that's why i give it a 7.1 it's still a really good episode 
and I I fairly enjoyed it. There were some good comedy moments here and there. I think that snark and uh, you know you know cold and heat wave. I think that they make a great comedy duo, uh, especially with Jax and all these other characters. They just work off each other so well, and I think that's what's going to be the big you know kicker of this show is that we have all these characters and they're just going to work off of each other like magic. Anyway, let me know what you guys saw the episode in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, share this with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. And be sure to check in later on this weekend for Ruby Season 3, Episode 11. I cannot wait for that episode because we got a lot of stuff to cover now. I've been Kedricks. As always, people have an awesome day. Peace out, and I'll catch you later.